the body magnitude plot of this system, LTI system, with a transfer function of h of s, which has a frequency response of h of j omega. So basically, um, we have, uh, say, h of s. And then when we substitute s with j omega, we get the h of j omega, which is the frequency response of the transfer function. And the body magnitude plot of that is shown here. x-axis is omega in radian per second. y-axis is 20 log base 10 of absolute value of h of j omega, which is the magnitude in dv. We can see that at 5 radian per second, the magnitude is, is exactly 0 dv. Before that, it, it has been dropping constantly with a slope of 20 dB per decade, which means decade means that every 10 times increase in frequency on x-axis, the y-axis magnitude drops by 20 dB. And we have this sort of a behavior, 20 constant, 40 dB drop constant, and then 20 dB drop. Um, so uh, with this scheme, we want to find the transfer function. Um, we know that h of j omega is equal to bunch of poles and zeros. So uh, since we are dropping constantly with a slope of 20 dB per decade from a zero frequency up to five, we should have a j omega over there as a basically as a as a pole in the system omega equal to zero. But when we hit five as we are increasing the frequency on the x-axis, then there is a counteracting pole uh, zero that counteract the slope so we end up with having one plus uh, j omega divided by uh, five radian per second and then after that point um, it would be a zero slope up to 20 and then by 20 we get to um, one two poles actually because we are now dropping 40 db per decade so it's one plus um, j omega divided by 20 and then it should be now um, power of 2 because uh, the slope is 40 dB, so there should be two poles there. This continues up to 50. At 50, this is counteracted by existence of 2, 0, so that the 40 dB slope drop becomes a 0 slope. So it should be 1 plus j omega divided by 50. And uh, then uh, at 100, this slope of 20 keeps happening, so we should have another whole at j omega divided by 100. So uh, we should have basically four poles and uh, three zeros in this system with uh, a double zero at 50 radian per second and double pole at 20 radian per second. And there should be also a gain in the system, a k, which we need to find it. At uh, five radian per second, we can see that the, the value of the ma uh, magnitude in dv should be zero. So if we use omega equal to 5 radian per second, then h of j5 is equal to substituting everything with 5, we end up with k, which we need to find, and 1 plus j5 divided by 5, and uh, 1 plus j5 divided by 20 squared. And uh, of course, we need uh, the magnitude of h of j5, which means we need to compute the magnitude of this thing here. And uh, then we have j5 and uh, 1 plus j5 divided by 20 squared and uh, 1 plus j5 divided by 100. Uh, we can effectively um, consider that these guys, uh, they have a magnitude of 1 and uh, roughly and the only components that they have a not they have a cons considerable magnitude to consider are the remaining components so it would be k magnitude of 1 plus j5 over 5 is 1 plus j and then in denominator we have magnitude of j5 which is simply 5. so uh, since at rate omega equal to 5 the magnitude in db is 0 db it means the linear value of magnitude is 1 so it means magnitude of h of j5 is equal to 1. And that means 1 is equal to k times uh, absolute value of 1 plus j divided by 5, which means 
how k times square root of 2 divided by 5 is equal to 1, and that means k should be 5 divided by square root of 2. So that's the constant uh, in the transfer function of the system. Uh, therefore, uh, the overall transfer function uh, substituting s with j omega becomes uh, k is 5 over square root of 2, and then the rest of it is 1 plus, instead of j omega, we have s over 5, and uh, 1 plus s over 50 squared and uh, divide by uh, s 1 plus s over 20 squared and 1 plus s over 100. Uh, this is the transfer function of the LTI system for this body magnitude plot.